Peace, peace, love, prosperity, abundance, self-love, self-care, wisdom, knowledge, patience, understanding, understanding, wisdom, standing, all the four corners of the earth, standing. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Shalom, aloha, salam alaikum, mihao. <laughs> and grand rising and grand rising and we are rising to the top. Y'all know I got a beautiful smile, right? Look. And by the way... Mm, one of my device, the one that I mostly receive phone calls on, it dropped in the water, you know. And so I know maybe some of y'all might be texting me and y'all not getting any response. Um, I'm going to get a new device. So sooner or later, y'all will hear from me. But if anything, feel free to inbox me. I mean, email me and I will respond to you, okay? So um, if you maybe weeks or days ago it's less than a month i was in the bathroom you know i like to go to the i have a one and a half bathroom sometimes i go to the bathroom just to sit there and um this message came to me when i was young there was a saying that when you educate a man you educate an individual when you educate a woman you educate a whole nation right so i'm in the bathroom and that phrase or just what I just said, that quote was just playing in my head. And the message that was associated with this quote was, women are the one that's mostly home. We are the one that's mostly with the kids. That don't mean that we don't have fathers that are home. They are, we have stay at home dads, they are home. We have single fathers that are raising their kids. They're there, but majority you know, on the scale level a small women that are at home with the kids you know and so back then right back then my grandmother she never went to school because they they said there was no important for women to go to school there was nothing important about it that god created women to just be in the kitchen my late grandmother is a very very smart and wise woman and it makes me wonder if she had went to school, what would have turned out to be. But either way, we all came out, turned out great. But it, it goes down to women are the ones that's mostly at home with the kids, right? So when you educate the woman, she naturally passes that, pass that knowledge or passes that knowledge on onto the kids. But if you deprive her from education, what is she giving the kids? Nothing. That's why they say when you educate a woman, you educate an, an entire nation. When you educate a man, you educate an individual. Now let me break down on the spiritual level. The reason why they didn't want to educate women, which is still going on today in some countries, is because when the feminine, the feminine part of you, again, whether you're spiritual or you ain't spiritual, this is who you are. You can agree to disagree. You don't if you like, don't believe it. It's still who you are. You are both masculine and feminine. Or let me say, you possess this masculine and feminine energy. You as a whole, as a being, you are yin and yang, which is basically meaning masculine and feminine. We have been programmed to close one side of us, which is if you are a man, you've been told to close the feminine side of you and if you were a woman you've been told to close the masculine side of you in other words all of us has been told to activate or act on one vibration which is one side of you which is either the feminine or the masculine but the the key word is if we get in tune with our feminine side right the feminine side that is your creative side that is the part that you need to awaken to wake up from this sleep spell they've put on us again if you awaken or if you wake up the feminine side of you because even though as a woman you've been told to operate from your feminine the only thing they tell you to do is cook, get your makeup done and all. That's not what being feminine is. 
it's deeper than putting on makeup and getting your nails done and raising kids. That's not what being feminine really is. That's not what it is. It's not gender. So I can say on the collective level, majority of us are asleep. We are not in tune with our masculine and feminine. So again, if you activate the feminine side, if you activate the feminine side, if you activate the feminine side, it wakes you up to see the real world. Because the feminine and the masculine go together. Comes to our men. Our men are supposed to operate from the masculine energy. But going to work and paying bills ain't what being masculine is about. I know that on the physical sense it's man and woman. But on the spiritual sense it's not man and woman. It's basically you as a whole. Right? That's why they make the, there's that phrase, when you educate a woman, you educate an entire nation. It's subliminally telling you that when you awaken your feminine, when you awaken the feminine energy, that feminine intuition, you get to see what this whole entire game is about. And they don't want that. That's why they say, do not educate the woman. Do not educate the woman. Does this make sense? I don't want this video to get too long. Does it make sense? This was the message that came in the other day, a couple of weeks ago, and I was I was perplexed. I was like, wow. So this is what it really means spiritually. They refuse to educate the woman. That is because they don't want you to wake up your feminine energy. So they throw all these things to you. Our men can't even wake up because they so focus on the outside. The way that we live in here on this planet, that, that don't got nothing to do with masculine and feminine. No, we are out of touch. To awaken the feminine means awakening the world. That is your creativity. That's the creative side of you. That is what opens you up to see what this world is really about. And they don't want you to see that. So they said, don't educate the woman. And the man, don't even dare go there. Just operate from the masculine. Just go to work and pay bills. Be the head. That's it. Again, the war is beyond black and white. The, the war is beyond gender. The war is beyond men and women. It's basically your masculine and your feminine, which is your conscious mind and your subconscious mind, which is your yin, your yin and yang. I hope this video helped change somebody let's all go with it let's do the work it's not pleasant i'm telling you it's not pleasant at all but with dedication and with the help of the universe god allah buddha krishna we can make it don't give up and again when i make messages i don't want you to feel like i'm talking at you the video the message that i'm putting out there is for me as well it's for me too So the whole ideology behind when you educate a woman, you educate the whole entire nation. That's because your feminine side is the whole nation. It's your creative side. It's what makes you really who you are. It makes you see the clear picture. And the masculine come in and activate it even more. But they don't want you to work on that. They, don't, they want you to close that. That's why most of us are going through what we're going through. Do you realize that when you're with a woman who is wise, she passed that knowledge on to her kids and her kids pass it on to her grandkids? That's what happens when you awaken the feminine energy. This ain't about men or women. I appreciate you for watching. You take good care of yourself. I love you. And African kisses. And give yourself a hug and take some time out if you need, you need a break. I love you.